Welcome to another Hourglass Vlog with Real Talk with Akmo Shit. This vlog gonna be about people, brothers and sisters, men and women. Guard your energy because the way the world is getting, there's too many people that's not rocking with you or they don't have good intentions. Guard your energy. This goes for anybody in the world. If you're a genuine person, you know, you are a um, person that's full of light, the light of truth, the light of the most high in Christ. Guard your energy. Watch the company you keep. This goes for anybody, whether you're in the truth or in the word. Guard your energy. Because people, you know, they most people you come across in life, they have hidden agendas. They don't have your best interest. Guard your energy, you know, as a servant of the most high. Sometimes you're going to have to spend time alone, you know, to better your spirit. But, you know, with the uh, up and coming months, there's a lot of tension in the air. The energy is off, you know, around the world. You have to guard your energy because, you know, people that say you're their friends, People that say that they your friends will prove otherwise when things go south. But uh, what I want to see is guard your energy, people. Guard your energy. Because it's a lot of tension in the air. I just sense it in the air, in the spirit. You know, there's a lot of tension in the next coming months. You know, this whole year has been jacked up. The whole 2022, and we're not even at the end of this year. This year got, what, like five to six months left. By at least five to six months left. And 2023 ain't going to be any better. You know. So those who you rocking with, rock with them. You know, pray for them. And if they meant to rock with you in 2023, they're going to rock with you. This goes for anybody, you know. This goes for anybody in the world. You know, I'm just speaking in general. But yeah, guard your energy, people. Brothers and sisters, guard your energy. Sisters, stop telling all your personal business to other women. Because they could use it against you. Brothers, be careful what you tell to your brothers or your so-called friends. Because they could use it against you. Because that's not a real friend. Soon as you fall out with somebody, you want to expose them for what they are. That's not a real friend. And I'm just speaking in general. Guard your energy, people. It doesn't matter if you're an Israelite or a Gentile. Guard your energy. Because the world is getting more darker and darker. The people are getting more fake and faker. It's like they take genuine people for granted. People that's sincere. Guard your energy. Yeah. I don't know if y'all can hear the train in the background, but that train, that's a warning. That train blowing a horn, that's a warning. Guard your energy, people. You know, it was meant for me to make this video at this time. You know, if you're in a relationship, marriage, situation, ship, or whatever, don't broadcast your union or relationship to people, whether it's people in your family or on social media. And that's the problem. You want to broadcast all your business on social media. Do not do that. Because it's a breeding ground for jealousy and envy and gossip. Don't do it. You see, that's why society is falling apart now. That's why a lot of relationships, marriages are falling apart now. Or just human interaction. It doesn't have to be a relationship. It could just be human interaction because of social media. Everybody got the spirit of competition on this social media. And a lot of people giving their energy to people that really don't care about them on social media. Don't give your energy to everybody on social media. Do not. Guard your time. Time. Let me tell you something about time. Capital T-I-M-E. Time. 
is the most precious currency on earth. Time is more precious than any type of currency on earth. Your time. Once you waste time and spend time, you can't get it back. You know, time, time, time. You know, and the time is going by fast, family. Look at that. We almost at the end of 2023. We're in September. Once September pass, October pass, we only going to have what? Two months left. Let's see. September, October, November, and December. Whoa, 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 whoa. We only got a few months left. Wait, we're in September right now, so that means we got October, November, and December. Wait, we just got four months left, really. Man, we almost at the end of this year. Once December get here, that's a wrap. Let's see, September, October, November, and December. Four months. Hot diggity damn. Four months left out the year, family. And it just seems like 2022 has started. And we got like four months left. About at least four months left. <clears throat> Tell you, time is flying by. You know, you got to decide where you stand at in this spiritual war. As an individual, as a man, as a woman, you got to decide where you stand. In this spiritual war, because at the end of the day, this is a spiritual war. It's not about status. It's not about where you at in life. It's not about, you know, how much you make. It's not about your marital status. It's about where you stand in the spiritual war. Which side you on? You either on the forces of evil or the forces of good. You either on Yah's army or Hashatan's team. Because you will pick a side. There's no in between. You will pick a side. Whether you want to sit on the sidelines or not, this is a spiritual war. You're either on the side of righteousness or the side of unrighteousness. Take your pick as an individual. But yeah, guard your energy too. Guard your energy. Guard your energy, people. You know, I just want to um, bring forth this message. You know, it's been on my mind, been on my heart, laugh, you know. Spirit, whatever, you know, but um, yeah, guard your energy, guard your energy, and if you'll be taken for granted, don't hold grudges with people, just move on, you know, forgive and don't forget, forgive and don't forget, and just move on because holding grudges is bad for the spirit. You don't want to hold grudges. It's bad for your health, bad for your mental health and spiritual health. And it could be a hindrance to your salvation. Think about that. And like I said, I just want to make this little hourglass vlog. You know, guard your energy, people. Guard your energy. And I'll catch y'all on the next one.